Vagina of chair is a type of injury that occurs during sexual activity, such as uh, childbirth, or another activity that puts stress on the on the vagina area. So then there's the tears uh, can range from minor cuts or grazes to more serious lacerations that involve deep tissue damage. So the, the vaginal tears are very common or tears or tears can be are very common depending on how you pronounce that one. Maybe you can tell me on the comment section how you pronounce that one. Guys, the channel is uh, Siocha Talks, and if you have not subscribed to our channel, I want to encourage you to subscribe. And if you have any support for our channel, guys, uh, in our details about the channel, we have our contacts there on how to reach us and also give uh, that support. And also for the comments, you can give your comments and also you can DM so that we get to improve the channel and also get you the best which we which you want we want this channel to go to the next level and thank you always for coming back to the channel and also watching the channel so what are the some causes of the vaginal tears uh, they include childbirth so one can tear when giving birth to a child so women who give birth vaginally may experience tears as a result of stretching and the pressure of the birth process so sometimes it's traumatic, traumatic, traumatic on the vagina. So someone can get that uh, tear uh, through childbirth. Another way one can get that uh, vaginal tear is about sexual activity, especially when it is rough for forceful sexual activity can cause tears or lacerations in the vaginal area. Another another challenge or the another cause which can cause the vaginal tear is what you call tampon use. There are special kind of uh, devices which special ladies when they're on periods, they insert in their, in their vagina. So that one can also cause uh, a problem, it can cause tears inside there, especially when inserting or removing the tampon, it can cause a tear in the vagina area. Uh, so bringing about the, the tear. And also some more, some more of the issues also which can bring about the vaginal tear is from uh, medical procedures, especially when one uh, is inserted, especially the speculum for examination, uh, uh, when especially during pelvic exam and also during uh, the biopsy, when one is gotten a biopsy, it can also bring about uh, problems so causing the vaginal tears so symptoms of vaginal tear can include pain uh, can cause can be can be also we can have uh, a bleeding we can also have uh, issues like uh, we can have also swelling discomfort during sexual activity or other activities also uh, and also for the treatment of the vaginal tear it depends on the severity but uh, minor tears can heal on their own and normally what the, uh, the matter is especially post delivery they are advised to sit on to do what we call uh, uh, sit baths also where they sit on the warm water sometimes uh, uh, that water is uh, put some salt inside so that they can uh, they can get uh, some relief over the same and also some painkillers can also be involved but also some tears, if the, especially the vaginal tears, if there are third degrees, second degrees, there is a way they are surgically repaired, especially by the gynecologist. But here in Africa, most of the time, it's the midwife who repairs, especially the childbirth kind of uh, those kind of, thing, uh, of of tears. So with the minor tears, we want you to practice the hygiene and also do those six parts so that you get uh, well. But severe ones, they need me medical attention, and also they can be sutured, like I said, they can be repaired in the hospital setting, so that the, the lady gets uh, comfort. So for the prevention of those uh, uh, vaginal tears, uh, sometimes they are inevitable, especially during childbirth, because also there's a special kind of tear which is given 
to give uh, more room for the baby to come out, then it is sutured afterwards. So like during that process, it's very not very easy to get uh, sometimes it is inevitable that you get you must get uh, uh, that kind of uh, over tear. Over, over so preventing vaginal tears can be difficult in some cases, but there are steps that can make you reduce the risk of injury. Here yeah, and I want to give you some tips so now you can avoid those uh, uh, kind of uh, vaginal tears. Number one is about use of replication, especially using uh, water-based replicant during sex can reduce help reduce friction and make penetration smoother, which can help prevent the tears. We have uh, lubricants which are uh, water-based; they are very important, so they help one to not to get into tears like uh, we have what you call kyj it really helps so during this uh, if you have experience or you want to prevent such kind of uh, tears so with dry vagina replication is very important and remember to use water based we have not talked about oil or using glycerin because also this can bring a lot of problems another very important thing about uh, preventing the tears is about safe sex. Practicing, uh, practicing safe sex by using condoms or other body methods can help reduce the risk of sexual transmitted infection, which can increase the risk of uh, the vaginal tears. So, and also another very important thing is about communicating with your partner. If you start experiencing pain, if you are dry kind of experience, talk about it. So that you find the most important the most comfortable technique and also positions that are comfortable uh, for both of you. So communication is very important uh, to get uh, uh, to the comfort of that uh, uh, of that partner. Another very important aspect of the same, especially uh, for the partners involved, is to be gentle, avoid rough or forced sexual activities as this may increase, may increase the risk of uh, vaginal tears. So men take care of that. And also ladies, uh, avoid that one. So practice good hygiene also. Uh, with good hygiene, keeping vaginal area clean and, and dry can help reduce the risk of infection and irritation. And can increase the, uh, so that uh, it, because irritations and also infections uh, increase your risk of being having those vaginal vaginal tears. Another very important aspect, it's last but not least, seek medical attention. If you are experiencing any symptoms of vaginal tear, such as pain, bleeding, discomfort during sex, seek medical attention right away. Early treatment can help prevent complication and also prevent uh, uh, healing. So very important, seek your medical attention from your doctor uh, your midwife or your medical practitioner to always help you on uh, over the same. So that those are very important issues which you should uh, look at. And I want to encourage you that to avoid those uh, vaginal tears, those are what the steps you should uh, you should consider. Some of them are inevitable, but it is what it is. Follow the right uh, channel to get help as early as possible. Because so, so, um, with now complicated tears, you can develop what you call fistulas, and uh, so the, now that those are very, very dangerous. Where now the anal area gets to communicate with the vaginal area, so you get the, even the feces now coming through your vagina coming out, and what we don't want you to get to that level. So guys, uh, it's very important you seek attention from your medical practitioner to help you come out of that and also follow the easy steps I've told you to prevent uh, such kind of uh, eventualities which may be may pose a very great challenge to you at some point and also it takes two to tango so the female the the two partners should agree for the best method and also find the replication and other steps of as I've mentioned above let's go through the video and also I want to wish you a good sexual uh, relationship and activity uh, without uh, the tears, uh, the tears up, uh, uh, from above. Guys, this channel is Future Talks. Uh, thank you for your support. Thank you for 
keeping the channel and i will also want to welcome you to our next video thank you guys very much and also welcome for another video thank you very much